today we're going to be putting the pistons back in this Chevy LS3 V8. And first off, you're going to take your rings and you're going to make sure that it's got these gaps. And you got to have one at each corner of the skirt right here. So you can see that one is right there. As I flip it over, you'll see that's got that gap in the, the oil ring right there. And this is to make sure that uh, the gases from combustion don't have a direct path to the crankshaft. And that's how you, how you lose your engine compression and you lose a lot of power. And next up, we're just going to take this off right over there on the vice grip. And then we'll start putting it back in. So now, now we got our cap off. We got it all lubed up with, with all this red, red goop. Now we're gonna put the spray, the ring compressor on, get it all tightened up. And you wanna put it about where it comes up, about halfway. That way it'll still seat in the cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on right now. All right, we got the spring, the the ring compressor on. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this little circle is facing towards the front of the engine as it is right now and then we're going to take our our piston hammer and we're just going to hammer it in there pretty much like that and then on this side we're going to see down in there See the rod right there. You're gonna hammer it further till it meets up with that. So now you can see you got it all the way down and it is lined up with its with the crankshaft. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our cap, we're gonna lube it up, and just bolt it in with the two bolts that are right there. Then we're gonna rotate the crankshaft and. Make sure that it doesn't hit anything and that we're good. You want to remember these are little tabs, these two little tabs right here. What you're going to do is you're, there's going to be two other tabs on the bottom part of this. And you're just going to line them up with those. Just make sure that it seats properly. I'm going to take the breaker bar and just rotate it and make sure that the piston I just put in doesn't hit up against crankshaft or anything. And this one is good. And we'll just repeat for the rest of the pistons. <laughs> And then we'll put the rest of it back there.